I'm Lisa Kern, I've been working with Glambia for 29 years and I've been branch manager for the last nine years. There was a position available for maternity leave and I decided to come for the interview and I was lucky enough to get the job and they kept me on then for the 29 years I started working in the shop and then I covered for relief for when somebody was off or on holidays or sick I learned all the jobs that were in the branch to be done. Now I'm branch manager, I've worked my way up and I've done two college courses in my time here as well. I started here in 1978 uh, as a production supervisor in the dairy plant up in um, the main yard up here behind us. So we processed all the milk from the area at the time. Uh, we handled all the milk in the Waterford area, in the Cork area and South Kilkenny uh, more or less at the time. So that's where I started off. I moved from that then into the um, trading division that was mostly involved with calling the farmers, selling feed, fertiliser and all the uh, main inputs. So I suppose if we cast our minds back to the early days when the founders set up this thing, you know, they, they were very conscious of supplying people with product at the, the best price and maybe taking people's produce in for them. Uh, I suppose they had many tough days to begin with, but thankfully through their resilience, hard work and determination, you can see what is here today from their efforts. So it's hugely important down through the years that it continued. The earliest memories would be the expansion that was taking place. Like farmers were, instead of you know buying four tons, they were buying 20 tons at the time. And it was just the whole expansion that was happening at the time. They were using more feed, better farm practices, and that's really what happened at the time. It just they started to expand, and we had to expand with it. My earliest memory would have been when I wasn't even working here. I came to an open day years ago when they re branded it as Shopwell and Biddy and Miley were here and it was a brilliant atmosphere on that day and I hope we can recreate that for our 100 year celebration. So uh, as a child I suppose going back to my early years I visited Dungarvan maybe on a weekly basis with my parents. I suppose Capaquin was our local branch in Capaquin but oftentimes we'd come in here we'd call it the main branch. Uh, look forward to coming down here on the day to have a look around maybe. There were my times from my childhood. But the earliest memory is out of numerous farmers arriving with horse and car, cars maybe, churns inside the boot of the car. So this was before the bull tank arrived. And in actual fact, I think Waterford and the Dungarvan area was the first area in the country which developed a bull tank system for collection of milk. When the co-op went PLC back in, I think, the late 90s, it was, that was a standout moment. It created huge value within the co-op and uh, created a huge value in the local area from shareholders. And I think from there on, you know, that we progressed well through the early, I suppose, 2000s and on into the day. My favourite aspect of my work here in Nungarvan is actually ordering the plants. I get great joy out of buying the plants and then seeing them selling in turn in the next few days. And also I like the customers actually, in fairness, I get great kicks out of it, helping people and enjoy telling about plants and uh, how to care for the plants to the best of their ability, you know. So we usually find that most people have a fair idea when they come and they just need help to make that final decision really. The farmers are delighted that we still have a branch here and that it's going from strength to strength and they also know that we understand their needs and when they have difficulties within farming year, be it weather or whatever, that we are actually here to support them. It's also a social outlet, it's a meeting place, I suppose as well as the local mart here. Uh, people come over here when the mart is finished and they'd have a chat about things and maybe get what they'd want for the few days. So, very important to the area. Having a branch like this in the area and, and other branches for that matter is really, really important because we are in an age now where uh, social media and that maybe is inclined to take over. But by keeping your branch, it's a physical presence in the area. At least you can come in and meet somebody, meet a face and talk to them about your issues. Uh, that's number one. Uh, I think that's very important. I hope it stays for, like that for the future. In the future, I would hope that the branch would be still continuing to go from strength to strength and it would still have the support of the local farming community and community within the local area.